everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. This one has been floating around my social media with raving comments, so I can't wait to check it out. Wave, wave. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, everyone. My name's Sydney Christmas. <laughs> Is it? Sydney yes. Christmas. <laughs> That's an unbelievable name. I, I love know. that. It's terrible, isn't it? It's not. <laughs> My middle name's worse. What is, what is it? it? Mary. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney Mary Christmas. Just, your mom? Seriously. She's super funny. Oh my gosh. I love her. Uh, what is it called? Cadence. I love her cadence. The way she like waited for that Mary. <laughs> the other moment that was so funny was this face. <laughs> Let me show you. Hello everyone. My name's Sydney Christmas. Is it? She didn't yeah. <laughs> that face, that face. Yeah. Her eyes are like slightly crossed. It's so cute. She's very, very likable already. Sydney Merry Christmas. <laughs> Did your mum seriously name you that? No, I'm joking. Yeah. I agree. Really <laughs> oh, okay. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is genius. She's hysterical. Sydney, where are you from? Raised in Kent, just moved to London. <laughs> Some people just have this personality. You just, like, you love her. You love her already. Are you a student? Do you work? What do you do? I'm currently working front of house at a gym. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, what did she say? Her accent is so thick. Did she say she works front of house at a gym? I, I asked because I did that once upon a time myself. Are you a student? Do you work? What do you do? I'm currently working front of house at a gym. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, she did. Yep. Well, high fives to you, Sydney. I did that too a long time ago. Equinox Gym on Wall Street. Shout out. That's not what you want to do. No, absolutely not. What do you... <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you want to do, Sydney? I'm trying to be in the West End. I just want to sing. Oh, oh bless her. Mm. What are you going to sing for us today? Uh, the first song that I ever sang, actually. I haven't sung it in... 24 years. How old are you? You look 24. 28. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. 20 great. Good answer. Yeah. There you go. So what song did you sing it for? Uh, tomorrow. Uh. From Annie. <laughs> From Annie. Simon, yeah. I know. That's kind of, I mean, as a 28 year old, how can you make this song amazing? If a little kid sings it, Oh man, it, it can soar, it can sail, and it's beautiful, and it's stunning, and it's sweet, and it's effective. But I'm curious to see how a 28-year-old is going to win a golden buzzer with tomorrow. Come on, yeah. Oh, Simon, that is Simon's worst. <laughs> he needs a drink of water for this. Yes, I'm it. <laughs> Gosh, it's amazing how she hasn't even started singing, and she has won me over She's won over the judges, even though Simon's rolling his eyes about tomorrow. The audience is just eating out of, eating out of her hand. And what I love about Sydney already is she is showing us who she is as a person. She's showing her personality. She's just this sassy, happy, silly, funny, witty person with, with this lovely energy. Okay, now for the singing. The sun will come out tomorrow, but she bought a dollar there tomorrow. There'll be sun just thinking about. Tomorrow clears away the cobwebs and the sorrow to there's none. I'm stuck with a day as gray and lonely. I just stick out my chin and grin and say. Beautiful. There's a lot that I'm loving about this performance already. I love how she's sharing the song 
with the full audience, the way she's looking out to this side, and then she's shifting her gaze to this side. She's reflecting about the words. It does feel like a song she has sung for 24 years. Like it's just comfortable for her. She's taken command. She is, she's gotten serious for this moment because it is a poignant message. Singing wise, she's got this cool fast vibrato. She's adding a few little riffs, little melismas here and there to, to spice up the melody. She's singing very lightly, very soft, very conversational in the tone and the phrasing. She's not holding these out the way you can just picture little Annie singing, the sun will come out. Here it's like an adult saying it, having been through experience. It's these short phrases, the sun will come out. There's tough moments in life, but look, I'm still here. That's, that's the vibe I'm getting from the way she's phrasing short little bursts. It's compelling and I wanna keep going. And say, oh, the sun will come out tomorrow. So you gotta hang on till tomorrow. Beautiful. <laughs> come what may. this too how it's such a transformation from that light barely the, the tone was just so light not louder than kind of a, a hushed speaking tone and now suddenly boom she's got richness in her voice she's got power now she's starting to really sing out in a strong tone and it's such a beautiful contrast to what we just heard a moment earlier. I was just noticing, yep, the goosebumps are showing up. Okay, we gotta keep going. I gotta just let this moment happen. The sun will come out tomorrow, but your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Yes. I just love how she's opening up. It's so important for that good vocal technique, for that beautiful resonance to happen. Her voice has suddenly become so strong, so rich, so mature. And I and and like I said, I love the contrast. I always love a song, especially for something like an audition, a high stakes audition like Britain's Got Talent, where there is growth in the song, where you don't just shove it all in our face immediately. It's so much more powerful to let it grow, let it build, to you know entice us the way she did in the beginning with the short phrasing, the, the intimacy, and now suddenly, boom, big, mature, rich, soulful. I love where this song is going. I really loved it how she's like this in the beginning. It felt organic. It was like this sweet little thing, and now, mm, it's like she stepped into, I don't know, I'm picturing like a, a sequined gown and high heels, like just inside of her. I love that she's got such a nice casual style. I feel like that's, again, her personality, but suddenly her voice has put on this like glamorous sequined dress. She's just soaring now. Oh, 
Surprise. I was waiting for it to get into this like big belty like take it take it home but instead she dropped back into that light intimate tone that tone that felt more like the life experience of like hey it's tough sometimes but you can get through it instead of like oh life is great tomorrow you're gonna just shine on me the way it can reflect more on that you know traditional way of singing it with those long belted phrases all the way through i really love that she brought it back down right to here simon was expecting a campy you know straight up traditional version of this song and this ending especially she just barely barely came out with the oh hey so soft, whispery, a bold choice, you know, to, to taper it back. She had the audience like, whoa, so pumped for those big belty high notes. And then she's like, no, I'm gonna make you lean in again, holding their breath for that last bit. So beautiful. Let's listen to the last moment one more time. thin air, but I feel like 95 to 100% of the contestants on these shows have never had an audience like this. And what a feeling it must be to have done an incredible job and to get that moment where everyone, even Simon Kell, are on their feet cheering for your performance. It has to be overwhelming. I This is like my favorite moment. Even before like, oh, you got a golden buzzer. Like this is always my favorite moment in these shows is seeing their reaction like, they liked me. <laughs> it's the sweetest feel good moment. <laughs> Those feel good moments. I used to hate that song, and now I absolutely love it. <laughs> nice. Good for you. Yay! That's a fun one. The way she performed, it did feel very much like she could have been on the West End on Broadway. She did have that stage presence. Her voice, like I said, her voice was very captivating as I mentioned earlier, and as Bruno mentioned earlier, the way she started it so soft, so light, so intimate. And then as she carried it into this big moment, so beautiful, it just seemed so sincere. And not to mention, my gosh, her personality at the beginning, how hysterical, how funny she was, her comic timing. <laughs> like who could watch that and be like, 
I don't like her. Like everybody has to love her. That was definitely a feel good moment from the beginning, from the moment she stepped on stage to seeing the seeing all that gold confetti come down and knowing that there's that we're gonna see more from her in Britain's Got Talent. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. And if you'd like to watch my other Got Talent reactions, you can find them right here. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.